Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. Happy Friday. So I'm doing a little bit of a different reading today. Um, I just felt really guided to do a reading for the collective, for those of you who are in separation or in a challenging time in your connection. And I wanted to deliver this reading today with the question that I asked to spirit, which is, should the person watching this video leave the twin flame journey and abandon their counterpart? Or is the guidance to stay and continue to move forward? So it's a reading about, should I stay or should I go? Okay. So I wanted to take a look at this because I do feel like a lot of people are struggling right now or just feeling like there's no, you know, end to the darkness. There's no end to the unknown. Um, you know, masculine still in a karmic connection seems to be even deeper into a connection. And, you know, the, the divine feminines in an energy of like, you know what, I, I can't do this crap anymore. So I wanted to do this reading for um, for those of you who may be in that sort of energy. And so what we have here, I've used the Akashic Tarot because that's really, you know, the cards that I use to connect to the soul level, right? To spirit on a soul level. So we're going to look at the bottom of the deck first. And it's very interesting because every single card here is a major arcana card, which means this is a very, very significant message, significant connection. And also what's very interesting to me is that they are in the numbers 8, 10, 12, and 14, which means they're separated by 2. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. 2 is a number of partnership. Two is the number of, you know, people working together. So I think that spirit has a very significant message here in that spirit has given me all major arcana cards and everything in the multiple of twos, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Okay. So if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. And only through Sunday, I am running a special on my Twin Flame Energy check-in. Um, which is the video reading, okay? So if you want to do an energy check-in with me, a video reading, um, you know, then go ahead and book that on my website, queenoflight1111.com. But if you want to book any other service, you know, coaching session or healing session, go to my same website. But the Twin Flame Energy Check-In video reading is um, on sale through Sunday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Keys. So this is really for those divine feminines, right? Those divine feminines who are really saying, should I stay or should I go? Well, here at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of, Qu Queen of Keys. So this is a feminine who is in her authority. Okay, this is someone who is sensitive and helpful and thought confident. She's, you know, she's in her authority. She can celebrate not only, you know, just her success, but she's happy for others in life. You know, she could be a businesswoman. You know, she could be someone who, you know, is the queen of her own queendom. She is someone who is in this energy of self-employment. And so it just feels like this feminine spirit saying, hey, lady, you're in your power. You're in your power. It's clarified by the strength card, which is also spirit saying, feminine, you are in your authority. You are in your heart space. You are in your confidence. Step in to your own personal inner strength to make a decision about your twin flame. So right off the bat, bottom of the deck, spirit is saying, hey, lady, <laughs> you're in your power. You're in your full power. You're in your confidence. You're in your authority. You're in your strength to make this decision. So Spirit's already telling us like, look, you already have all the answers. You know what you should be doing. You are in your power to make a decision about your twin flame. 
See, that's the thing about free will as well, right? Spirit is saying you are in your power. You have the free will decision to stay or go. So the first card that we have in answering of that question is Archangel Raphael, specifically very, very important for those of you who work with Archangel Raphael. So the first message or the first card, first energy in answering this question is that Archangel Raphael is the, the angel of healing. He's the angel of uplifting. He's the angel of bringing in the light, okay? He carries the energy of love, family, miracles, healing, and he blesses journeys. He often comes as the guise of a human. So he could come as someone in your soul tribe or someone in your, you know, earthly life. And he's here on this journey to bless you, to bless you with this renewal of a lost dream. He's here to bless you with healing. He's here to bless you, you know, in healing your broken heart. He's here to heal your connection for a new beginning, okay? And this energy, what's, what Archangel Raphael is saying, look, there is energy, there is motivation for this unconditional love for this infinite love and union. So right off the bat, Spirit is saying, look, the energy is here. Archangel Michael is saying, we are healing your journey. We are blessing your journey. The energy, the motivation, the passion is there for union. What, are, what the angels are saying is you're getting a little caught up. You're getting caught up with the outside world. It's pulling you off track. If you're listening to, you know, readers, or other people that are, you know, giving out readings that are taking you into a lower vibration. If you're engaging with people in your environment or in jobs that are bringing you down, then these things, these people, these situations are really pulling you away from your inner self, from your inner knowing. So this card, the light of the world, you have the sage here with the lantern, right? And he's knocking on the door, but this person is too busy to answer the door, too busy in work, too busy in snooping, too busy in other things. And right now, spirit is saying, go within, Open yourself up to your higher self. Open yourself to all of the wisdom and power that you have attained through this journey. Because it's your soul, your eternal being, and only you can either stay distracted or you can close the door or you can open the door. It's up to you. It's up to you. Six of Cups right? There's this energy of nostalgia. There's this energy of the soul connection. You can either close the door to it, or you can open the door to it, or you can get so distracted by outside energies that you are putting a boundary and restriction on this commitment. Again, spirit is saying, it's up to you. Do you want to stay distracted? Do you want to stay in the energy of connected to people and things and situations that don't serve you? Do you want to keep snooping and affecting and lowering your vibration? Because that's what's holding you back. Spirit is saying you are here to sweep in to this higher mind and higher study. You are here to be the student. You are here to be this teacher. It's not just you're here to learn about the journey. You're here to learn about the journey and rise up. You're here to come into your higher mind, into your higher learning, so you can change your life and potentially even change the world. So you may be a student right now. Maybe you're a teacher right now, but that's what you were meant to do. You were meant to help grow and evolve and develop yourself and others. So don't close your mind to that because your attitude is everything. You know, if you're going to be imposing, if you're going to have a bad attitude, if you're not going to operate in calmness, then you're in this energy of not coming into your higher mind and higher learning and growing and developing. You're going to be in this energy where you're going to be in a fear-based fear you're going to be running all these conspiracy theories. Maybe twin flames are a joke. Maybe, maybe these people are lying. You're going to be closed-minded. You're going to refuse to see reality, right? You're going to run. You're going to run away. 
because you're gonna to try to protect yourself. The whole thing about this life is to take chances, take risks, learn. And the last card, we have the initiation of Saint Germain. This is spirit saying, you are here to do the most difficult work. You are here to change, to transform, to move into a higher revelation of power and insight and achievement. You are here to do that. You are here to rise in and be in this twin flame union. And you're restless right now. You're restless. You're curious. You're not really managing your emotions right now. You're, and, and it's your thoughts. It's because you can't see clearly. It's your confusion that is really keeping you from your clarity, from your wisdom. So spirit is saying right off the bat, hey, you're, you are in your power to make a decision. You are in your strength and authority to make a decision. You choose to shut the door. You choose to open the door. It's up to you. But we want you to know this journey is blessed. This journey is unconditional. This journey is infinite in love and in union. You are being distracted by the outside world and other things, and it is keeping you from this bond. So you have to come into this higher learning, higher mind. Don't go into fear-based thinking. Don't be in this energy of anxiety and fear. You're doing the hardest work of your life. It's time to release low vibrational energies and attachments. And I know if your masculine or your counterpart is in another connection, you may be restless because you just can't see if that's ever going to change. I get it. I get it. But I hope you take these messages and you see that how spirit is empowering you to make the right decision for you. But you can only make the right decision if you're calm, if you go within, and if you connect to your higher self. Don't let the outside distractions make you shut the door on the most rare and beautiful, blessed journey of your life. Okay? I hope this reading was helpful. And again, if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. And that Twin Flame Energy Check-In video reading is on sale through Sunday only. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.